welcome to CFC Fan TV. This is my post-match review where I am going to do the player ratings. You all actually quite liked it last week, so I'm thrilled with that um, because I enjoy doing it. But I feel like this week's even more special because we've just beaten our London rivals 3-2 at the bridge. That's fantastic news. Um, listen, I got a little bit scared during that, you know. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, I got a little bit scared uh, towards the end of the first half. How we let go of a 2-0 two, two, two lead, I, I, I don't even know. Our defender was all over the place. I thought Dave, although I love Dave, I hold him in such high regard. I think he probably had a bad game today. Well, one of the worst I've seen in quite a while. Um, but nevertheless, I think in the second half we got it together. And I mean, I, I don't even want to, I can't even criticise Morata today. He was fantastic. I thought me and Charlie last season always wanted him to work on his uh, one on ones with the keeper. Um, he's good in the air with his head and not so good with his feet, but today that couldn't have been uh, more untrue. I thought his goal was fantastic. I think he had another chance as well, which was a great save from Czech. Um, and yeah, the first goal as well, Pedro. I love Pedro. I think Pedro is super underrated. Um, a lot of fans don't, don't, don't like him, but I think when you don't start with Hazard on the pitch, you need his pace. So yeah, I thought he was fantastic. I thought Alonso again, another one that gets a lot of stick from fans. Not really a need for it. I'm sure there's aspects of his game that he can improve. Um, but you know, I don't think you can fault him and assist a goal. He's, he's a fantastic player. Uh, so I'm going to do my player ratings now. We'll go, we'll go from the back. Um, <clears throat> Kepa, I'm going to give a seven. Um, I know he conceded two goals, but I think actually the majority of that was down to um, our defence. So I don't want to say it was horrendous. You know, it could have been a lot worse. I don't think he particularly had a lot to do in the second half, especially. Um, so it's quite hard to give him a rating. I'm sure a lot of you may give him a six, um, but I'm going to go with a seven. Uh, back four then, <clears throat> Dave, do you know what, I'm going to give all the defenders exactly the, exactly the same mark and I'm going to give them, I'm probably going to give them a six and that's purely just because of that, that very bad spell uh, towards the end of the first half. I wasn't impressed, I don't know what, what was going on there, I thought it was really, really, it was, I think it was actually quite a sad time for me to watch, I was, I was losing my head a little bit um, and I just, I just think it was a bit very, very sloppy and I'm sure Sari had a good word with them uh, in the dressing room because second half it did, did turn out a little bit differently. Um, Jorginho, I'm going to give him, give him, give him an eight and a half actually, eight, eight or nine, eight and a half. Um, again, great, I think his contribution so far since coming into the starting 11 has been great. I think Sari obviously rates him to put him in the starting 11 and not use him off the bench. And I think him and Kante work very, very well together. I think Kante again had a couple shots today. Uh, didn't quite go his way, obviously, but I was really impressed with him. Um, yep, Kante again, I will give, I'll probably give Kante a nine. I love what Kante does. I think he's the, the glue that holds our team together sometimes. And I think he allows players like Hazard and Jorginho and whoever else to, and Willie and Pedro, to do what they do best, and that's score goals. Um, it doesn't really bother me if Kante doesn't get a goal. If he does, it's a bonus. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm never too, too upset with that. Willian, I will give... <sighs> Willian, I'm going to give a seven. I don't want to be... Too, uh, seven? I mean, I thought the first goal, obviously, was, was, a bit of, was, was his mistake. I thought that was very, very sloppy. I think in, in a London derby, you can't switch off like that. You need to be looking all around you. If, if, the, if the pass is made to you, to make Joss. sure... <laughs> uh, if the pass is made to you, you need to be on your game. Uh, and that was just really, really silly. And I think you could see all over his face that he was pretty, really, pretty mad that he, that he, that he didn't... Um, stop that but you know that is what it is Barkley I'm gonna give him a seven I don't think he did put a foot wrong I think just before he came off he had quite a good chance um I think Sari likes using him I think that's great I think it's good for him to get more game time would I have him over the likes of Kovacic probably not um but I do like the fact that we've got a player half decent player that can come off that can start in the starting 11 or come off the bench and Sari's not afraid to use him which I which I really do like Pedro I'm gonna give a nine Purely because I thought his, his goal was great. I think when you don't start with Hazard, you need someone like Pedro on the pitch because he has that pace. He's probably one of our fastest players, to be honest. Um, and I don't think he gets enough credit. I don't know why fans don't like him. He is, again, another born winner. So I'm very, very confused as to how fans still aren't really coming around on him. Um, but I think he links up very, very well with other players, especially the likes of Alonso. Uh, works really, really well on the team. He's a team player. He's not, not selfish. Um, and I thought his goal was fantastic and a great opening goal for us to see. You always want to see that against your North London rivals. Hazard and Kovacic are both going to get nines from me. Weren't on the pitch for too long, um, but I think they, they really, I don't know if we would have won the game without them because them coming on really just sort of steadied the game. And I think their contribution when they did come on is one of the main reasons we were, we were able to get the final, Alonso was able to get the final goal. So I don't think you can give them any less than a nine. I think Kovacic is going to be an extremely good player for us. I would prefer him to be in the starting 11. Um, I mean, he comes from Real Madrid. He's Winner, a born winner, and I think he's going to do really, really, really well. Morata, I'm going to give 
I'll give him right a nine as well. Um, many of you may think that's a little bit out there, but I think his play was good. All bar one time he went too down, down too easy and was in the second half was trying to get a foul. You're never going to get that. Um, but I thought his goal was brilliant. Me and Charlie have longed for him uh, to work on that. And he's full of confidence. Uh, he had another, another um, uh, nearly scored another goal, um, but great save from Czech. So it worked out really well. So I think probably his best game in, in, a, in a Chelsea shirt for, for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely going to give him, <laughs> definitely going to give him a nine. So I'm, I'm buzzing with that. Um, anyway, there are my um, player ratings. Uh, let me know what you think, comment below. Who do you think impressed you today? If I'm going to go with a man of the match, Oh, it's a difficult one, you know, man of the match. I don't think I even can do because I think there were, there were aspects of every part of the game where at some points, like I said, Hazard and Kovacic coming on, they did really well. And then you've got the likes of Alonso who got our winning goal. Then you've got Pedro, that, the link up between Alonso and Pedro for that, for that first goal I thought was second to none. So yeah, um, all round happy days. If I give them all a 10, I would do, but there's always room for improvement, isn't there? <laughs>